All right, guys, check this thing out. Isn't it badass? We've got a lot to cover today. So what you're looking at right now is the all new Rackham Arrow 12 foot four. And as you can tell, we've done a lot of upgrades to it. You know, the Rackham has always been one of our fan favorites. It's been one of my favorites. And traditionally it's been our adventurer slash fisherman's board. So we decided to take the 12 foot four version and update some features. All we've really done here is add the Apex pedal drive integration port and seat tie downs to our already feature rich paddleboard. So very simple modifications made this an extremely badass crossover hybrid kayak pedal drive, sup. I think it's one of the coolest things we make. And I'm gonna walk you guys through what we've done, how you take it from sup to kayak mode and how it functions as a sit down pedal drive crossover. So first I'm gonna walk you guys through the Apex pedal features, how it integrates with the board and how it functions like a kayak, starting with the Apex pedal drive. The Apex pedal drive is built to pivot in and out of our Apex pedal port, and it simply attaches via these cam locks. Easy, in and out. So if you get into shallow water, you can pull it up out of the water and be clear and good to go. Or if you just want to pull the pedal drive out to stand up paddle, it's easy, in and out of the water. Plus, it's got a clear porthole cover so you can see through the water if you get any snags in the propeller. Moving on to the seat. The seat is our patent pending aero paddle seat, 100% fully inflatable. It simply attaches to the board with four G clips, two in the front, two in the back. All four are adjustable, so you can adjust the seat forward and backward, depending on how long your legs are for a more comfortable pedaling position. On either side of the seat, we've also integrated our rudder control system. So if you're lefty or righty, you can put it on whatever side you want. This controls the rudder, which mounts on the rear of the Rackham. As we move to the side of the seats, we've got two paddle lash downs. So if you wanna carry a kayak paddle, and a stand-up paddle, you can do both. So if you're kayak paddling, you know, your hands are free, put it in, lash it, grab a stand-up paddle, move the seat, you're ready to rip. Right between your legs is our handy-dandy Magnapod. This is one of the coolest features we make. You can load your cup up, your drink, bring it with you all day. It's out of the way while you're pedaling your pedal drive. The rear of the seat has the same features as all of our other aero paddle seats. You've got a nice, large stretch pocket on the rear so you can put your phone or the gear behind you. There's also molly loops for connecting any water bottles or any of the carabiners that you've got with you. The seat can connect upright permanently via a G-clip or it can fold down. Also, if you want to use this in stand-up paddleboard mode, you can just detach the seat and move it back behind you. You have a clear spot to stand up paddle. The Rackham comes standard with two rack receivers, so it's rack compatible with our bucket racks or tackle racks. This setup here, we've got the bucket rack with a Kula, four rod storage, a cooler, throw your beer in, have a good time out on the water. On the rear, we've had our power pole micro mount. This is still compatible for that. Now, we also mount our rudder control system. Simply install four screws, you're ready to go. This connects to your rudder on your seat for easy control. The Apex rudder control system, the rudder is spring loaded, so if you hit something in the water, it simply pops up and out. You can also completely store it out of the water by securing it with the bungee that's included. This would be the setup if you wanted to on water, convert your Rackham to a non-pedal drive. Pull the pedal drive out, pull the rudder control system out, and you're ready to go. The Apex pedal drive gives you options. It's also easily removable. You simply pull the pin out, pull it up. That's all she wrote. The Rackham Arrow at its core DNA is nothing more than an awesome adventure paddleboard. This thing's got all the volume to load all the gear to be able to do whatever you want. Whether it's a larger person or just more weight, the Rackham can hold it. We designed this to be able to glide easily across the water, have a recessed cockpit so it'll keep your gear dry, lots of area to be able to stand, move forwards and backwards, and it's very feature rich. Starting at the front with a paddle sheath. This thing is great if you want to go hands-free. Simply slide the paddle in, bam, you can bend down, pick up your magnet tumbler, and be good to go. As we move further back, the first new feature is the Apex pedal drive pivot port. This is where you just pin in the Apex if you want to go pedal drive mode. The next new feature is our Apex port. When you don't have the pedal drive installed, this comes standard with a clear cover. What's cool, when you're standing on the board, you can look down into the cover, into the water. You might see something cool, who knows. The Rackham features our standard BVA traction deck pad. This is heat sealed, so it doesn't absorb water, and it's also super comfortable on the feet. It's got a center carry handle, so you can grab the board and carry it with ease. Also, if you wanna get our accessory traveling strap, there are connections on both sides so you can carry the board with your shoulders. There's two sand spear Velcro straps on either side of the paddler. So you can get a sand spear, you can use it in your sand spear sheath to stake out in shallow water if you're paddling or kayaking. This thing is super handy. 
We have Kula tie-down D-rings directly behind the paddler, so you can bring a Kula with you and simply strap it down. Included with the board, two rack receiver ports for our slide-in rack receivers. This makes it rack compatible with our tackle racks or our bucket racks. The Rackham also has two spots for bungees, bungee on the nose, bungee on the tail. Pretty handy to secure gear to the board. As always, this thing has a multitude of grab handles, one on the front, one on the tail, one in the center. Makes it easy to get it in and out of the water or carry it to the water. The Rackham Arrow is constructed with our airboat technology, which is drop stitch core. This particular board has two drop stitch cores stacked on top of each other. One on the bottom, one on top. The drop stitch allows it to inflate to very high pressures, which keeps the board extremely rigid. So if you hit any bumps when you're cruising, you don't feel the board wobbling around on you or bananaing like you've seen some other things. I promise, this thing is anything but soft. Nothing like a pool float. People think inflatable, they get scared. But I can promise you, this thing is not soft. The Rackham Arrow is constructed with two separate chambers which offer redundant buoyancy. The bottom chamber inflates at the rear, while the top chamber inflates at the front. Moving to the bottom of the board, it's a smooth bottom, flat bottom. It's also wide, which offers extreme stability and glide throughout the water. Towards the back of the board, we've got a three fin setup, two small side bites, one permanently installed center fin slide-in track, and it comes with a 10 inch center fin to help it track nice and straight. We've showed you what it can do. Here's what it comes with. You got the Rackham Arrow board. You've got the stand-up paddle, three-piece paddle. Comes standard with the paddle sheath. Has to be installed on the front. The Arrow paddle seat also comes with every Rackham. It also comes standard with the Apex pedal port and a clear port cover. This is cool to be able to look through it. Uh, also, two slide-in rack receivers for rack compatibility, sand spear sheath, and a 10-inch center fin. So everything you see here deflates, rolls up, comes apart, and stores in the handy-dandy roller travel bag with the pump included.